One year after veteran Al Jazeera journalist Shirin Abouakla was shot dead by an Israeli sniper whilst reporting in the occupied West Bank. We look at the international outrage at her murder and the fight for justice and accountability by her family and colleagues. Special coverage this week on Al Jazeera. لن أنسى أبدا حجم الدمار ولا الشعور بأن الموت كان أحيانا على مسافة قريبة فقد اخترت الصحافة كي أكون قريبة من الإنسان كنا نحمل الكاميرات ونتنقل عبر الحواجز العسكرية والطرق الوعرة لم نكن نرى بيوتنا كنا نبيت في المستشفيات أو عند أناس لم نعرفهم ورغم الخطر كنا نصر على مواصلة العمل لأننا مصدر الخبر الوحيد ليس سهلا ربما أن أغير الواقع لكنني على الأقل كنت قادرة على إيصال ذلك الصوت إلى العالم أنا شيرين أبو عقلة My name is Aslan Adnan. I'm an ex-journalist. Um, years ago, I used to write for the Malay Mail at the uh, Straits Times. I'm a freelance writer now. I'm also the founder of the Green Party in Malaysia. Um, earlier, John mentioned in his short address something which reminded me of uh, the movie Anwar the Untold Story, which I saw the premiere on Monday. And the saying was, if you're afraid of the risks, then don't talk to me about the struggle. So in her reporting, Shireen had wrote about the struggle of the Palestinian people, a good cause. And in fact, the residence of the Palestinian ambassador now was the same house that I used to live in for 21 years of my life. The first 20 years of my life was the same house in Jalan Pegawa in Nampang Hilir. So this cause is a um, very important cause for journalists worldwide. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.